Hello everyone, if you are here to learn about how to create multiple viewport, multiple field variable and multiple view based animations, which look very interesting as you see in the screen right now, then you are at the right place. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I'm going to, today I'm going to use this flow forming example. And in this case, as you can see the video on this with all the details on how to model such kind of flow forming process can be found on the top right but you can see in this case the result file shows that how flow forming really occurs and this is what i am doing manually right now you can see how the stress is evolving and how everything is working along the way if you want to make it automated animation then you click on animate time history and you see now it does it very automatically it's playing in loop and it's very fast so you go to animate options and then you can play around with that so you can make it play once also you can slow it down so it's just the same speed of the animation which is slowing down not the simulation now if you press ok then you see it gets very slow and it only plays once and then it stops and then again you can play replay it manually so but you can see this is one viewport and there is if you want to have multiple viewports you have to create those first and then you can arrange them and then also you can change their views and also very field variables which are displayed right now this is very small so let me first make these back so you go to viewport and create options and in this case the legends we want to increase the size of the legend so we go to set font and then increase the size to 36. So now you can see it's very clear this is not important for us because I'm going to take get rid of this. So I'm just going to keep it small. But again, you can change the size of state block as well or anything else which is on the screen right now, which is not visible properly. Now, the question is how to create the viewports. So I'm going to go to the viewport option and then create. I will press create viewport. So now it has created one more. So now we have two viewports. If I press tile vertically, then you can see there are two viewports. I want to have, let's say, four viewports. So I'm going to create one more and now if I arrange them in again vertically or horizontally then you can see three viewports. I can create one more and now you have one more viewport and I will arrange them now. Uh, let's say horizontally so we have like this kind of view. Again you see this size is very big now. So if you want to make it smaller then maybe you go back viewport annotate option, annotation option, state uh, legends and you can decrease the size and bring it to let's say 18 and see how it looks so you see it is 18 and you have to do it in individually uh, for the time being so uh, or what you can do is you can if you link it link the viewports and then try it make it 18 uh, it's not working so maybe what you have to do in this case it doesn't work unfortunately so you have to select individual viewports and then change the font to 18 for all again this is too small but you can make it big because my resolution is like this so i bring it down so you see now everything is linked and when i do it now so you see all the viewports are done that because when you press link these viewports are all linked together and if you if i do something with this viewport then it will also be replicated to the other viewport so if i change the view then you see all the views are changed if i if i zoom out if i pan if i do anything like rotate manually then you see everything is rotating so they are all linked now whatever you are doing with one viewport it does with the other as well so if you bring everything to the initial stage you see they all move in they are all move synchronously so they are all synchronized to each other if you don't want to do that then you go back viewport and then again press this link viewport option so now this is see this deselected and you don't see that linking thing on the top of the window each viewport so, so this means now they are not linked so now you can play around with each one of them separately in this case let's say i want to display equivalent plastic strains in this one then i select this one for example and i want to show displacement magnitudes for example here maybe if i want to show anything else maybe contact pressure or something which is more visible so uh, reaction forces i don't know yeah let's for reaction forces so i won't see much on that because reaction forces on the reference point but it's fine for the time being also you can change the view so individually i can have this one as this kind of view if you want to zoom out you can zoom out if you want to pan then you press this button and move around like this again you can set it up as you want 
here I'm gonna have let's say I want to have a top view this is bottom view so this is the top view and here I just keep it like this or I can have my own perspective view so I just rotate it manually and say okay let's see how it looks it at this kind of angle yeah something or whatever so you can do have all these kind of combination you can zoom out you can zoom in you can if you want to have only concentrate on this area then you can keep it like this to see what happens there and now you go back and then link the video uh, view course again and now if you do it again so you see now this is everything remains the same if i press animation now so so i have to do it and for to everyone now it's sorry it's just uh, yes everything is one of them is missing see so this one is having this is already having you have to select them this is the only thing here so now you see everything starts synchronously and it keeps on going until it's going on so you see now animation is working fine we are happy with the settings we are happy with the variables views you can if size is i'm not very satisfied with the size of this text which is not very visible but you can i can live with it for the now time being and i know you can now change it by changing going into this view and edit options so now i want to save this i go to animate option and then i press save as and here i can give the name of the file let's say i call it test one or something i can select avi or other options as well so i'm going to live with the avi you can go to the options and you can use a screen size or you can have your own size as well i just keep it to default and i'm going to use microsoft video one again you can also configure that for quality i'm going to keep it to default higher the quality obviously the size bigger will be the file size and also your cpu will struggle so i'm keeping it for the default now and also you can capture different decorations so these are the viewport headings you can also capture the background or currently it looks like this but if you want white then you don't need to really have this also if you want compass and everything you can keep it like this so let's keep everything like this frame rate again i'm trying to slow it down so let's make it two okay so now if i press ok then it will save a file which will be in the temp folder so now you see the file has been saved in the temp folder if i now go to the temp folder here and look for that file and then this is the file and if i click on this now so you see how it looks like and what you see here is basically it is capturing the viewport decoration and everything which which is not really looking great so what i want is i want a white background i don't want this information and maybe i don't need these compasses if i don't want to so i go back and to abacus and i will just go to the any save as animation and in these options i will just tick untick all these box so now what will happen and uh, all these compasses and all these headings will go away but uh, still this state block will be there so this will give a this will give user information about file name and time and everything which is useless in many cases so you can get rid of that as well but let's first see what it looks like after i change and remove all those settings so now if i go back again and play this file again so you see now everything is white background and but still we have this so compass is gone white background we don't see anything on the top of each viewport any kind of information which looks more professional so now close it again and i go back and i don't want this state block as well in any case it is small so i go and i say remove the state block and now you see state block is gone you can also remove the title block which is a figure title so now you see it gone so now again i go back to save as animation and i keep everything for the default right now which default means like whatever i set it up before and if i save it now go back run it and uh, you see it's a very professional looking animation with different views with different field variables and you can really impress people you can use it in powerpoint you can create an animated graphics file gif file and you can upload on your website etc so i hope you liked it and if you have any question then please comment below and i will try to answer your questions so good luck with that and if see you next time bye